nor did he hear them enter the hostel where he lives. He was in the kitchen area at the time. I'm sure I was listening to a podcast. Just so you know, Maxwell told us he has no sight in his right eye and only 10% in his left, making it even harder to comprehend what happened next. I'm standing here. The door bursts open. I, I turn around. I didn't know what was going on, and I, I just knew that you know, several men were holding me down, that a dog was biting, was biting me. Relax. What are you doing here? I live here. Are you the jail? Yes. Are, are you the guy that we just saw? We you told you to stay inside. I was terrified. I thought I was about to die. Maxwell is then handcuffed. Another tenant hears the commotion. Hey, do you know this? What are you doing? That's when police realized Maxwell wasn't the burglars they were looking for. It wasn't the man they encountered in the sanctuary either. The man they put in handcuffs was just a man in his kitchen. Officers told Internal Affairs they weren't given clear information. All they knew was that no one was supposed to be inside the building except for one person on the third floor. Maxwell's attorney, Jake Brown. There was just no, no reasonable basis for them to uh, be in this part of the building in the posture that they apparently were. He also questions why officers did not give a clear verbal announcement after using the keypad to enter the hostel. According to the K-9 unit trainer, they're not required to. He told internal investigators an announcement is encouraged on every building search, but there are times when you don't want to give your position away. He said they're also encouraged to have the dog off the leash during the search, as long as you know the building is secure. To expedite the finding of the 